Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Scotty Gomez's House. I'm here with Michael Lancaster at I Am Possible Skill Lab. And he's gonna get me back. I figured uh, hockey's over, but I still got a shot at the NBA. Is there any more Latins in there? So my boys here is gonna, is gonna take me home. Take me there. Jordan. Hey, it would've been nice if you had So we started Scotty off with med ball holds, which is really just to show where his coordination and hand strength is at. What I want you to do is you're gonna start off nice and wide. You're holding the medicine ball straight out. All I want you to start with is pound at this level. If this ever falls out of your hands, you never lose his dribble. You're not against it. Back up to it. All right, so I'm just putting pressure on that hand. Squeeze. Always this way. Yeah, all that hand. So that involves him really holding the ball, squeezing that six pound medicine ball, and pounding at that level. And as I pull and tug on this ball, I, I don't want to see this dribble starting to become frantic, kind of all over the place. So he's got to be able to stay really solid. Even if that ball slips and he's got to go down and get it, I want to make sure that, that dribble stays with the exact same consistency and power the entire time. Next with Scotty, we worked on what we would call drop and catch with the medicine ball. Still focusing on coordinative elements, making sure that we disconnect his right hand from his left hand. Now this is your goal, but let's say you can't do that at all, you're struggling. This hand's always the same from that. So if we start off with a nice low dribble, this rhythm has to stay the same. He's just going to drop and catch that medicine ball. And the whole thing is, no matter what, he's going to stay quick on both sides and just make sure that he can maintain that dribble rhythm the whole time on both hands. Even if he's struggling, we just want to make sure that he's able to make sure that dribble stays solid the entire time through. So next we're taking Scotty through his footwork. So we worked on his ball handling to see where he's at with that. Now I want to see how he pockets the basketball, which is crucial if he wants to make the league, of course. And then we're going to drop and go through the rip cone. So if you do a drop, which a drop is going to be, if I'm standing on the lines, I'm going to go right foot forward, left foot back, and you split your feet, ball goes to your pocket. So the biggest thing is, if I pull the ball back to this point, now as I take this step, I'll have energy in the ball and I can take up with that step. All right? But I'm going to grab that cone as I drive. All I want to do is do two steps. So we're going to explode and go. But I want to see if you can get your shoulder down to a gain level to grab the cone. All right. All right, so if I was in this position, take your time. But once I drop, I'm going to drop, get through it, and stop. So as he does his drop, he's splitting his feet. I want him to pull the ball back really focus on that shoulder being able to get down enough where you can grab that cone by the grip and explode with two steps. So that's going to be crucial for us right now is his ability to simultaneously split his feet and pull the ball to his pocket and be low enough where he can grab the cone. So once again, he's going to drop, grab, explode through, show that he can come to that explosive two-footed stop. So now we're going to start focusing on finishing where I'm going to throw our, our weighted tennis ball down where now he's going to have to grab and react to an object in the air, which could represent people reaching and him protecting. So we already have that forward. I'm going to see if you can do it on a reaction. So if you're dribbling the right hand, when I go here, your job is to drop and go through it to grab. With my left. Yep. So, I'm so still same thing. You're not going to have to get as low now, but you got to be fast through it. Exactly. So right here, you're grabbing. Yep. But for me, my purpose is just to make sure that he has something to respond to and test his quickness. And all I'm going to do is see if he can jump at the right moment. And so a lot of times people are used to traditions of basketball where I'm always supposed to jump off a certain foot. But what Scotty's going to have to battle is as he goes through that, he's going to have two dribbles to get to the spot. And what I want to be the focus on is being able to jump at when the spot is now. So as his first foot hits, he's going to have to just jump. His tendency is going to want to be to take another step or to stutter his feet, which a lot of players will have. And so our focus right now is can you just be fast and jump at the right moment, which in this case is going to be his right foot, his outside leg. Next, we're taking it to the basket for a spin and really see where his body is at and seeing how well his balance maintains as he jumps out of this. And so he's going to have our medicine ball again, which is really going to help hold him accountable to weight and just be able to feel a little bit of resistance. And so if he's driving right now, he's going to come to a stop what he's going to have to focus on is as he stops and pounds, he's going to spin as he traps the ball to his body. He's actually going to make a change with the medicine ball. Now that's obviously not in the game. It's not game-like. It's not game situational. What it's going to do is it's going to delay his movement. So as he makes the change, he's going to have to wrestle the ball off of his body, which is going to feel like he's getting fouled, like someone's tugging on his arm. And then he's going to be able to go back up and get it. And so if I was to have him do a spin move after doing this, he'll feel a lot more free, a lot quicker, because there's no disturbances. This is a tough one but I feel like he's getting to that point where he can start pulling this off. 
Now we're going to go ahead and focus on fadeaways and see if we can knock down this shot when he actually actually jump away from the defense. And so we're using two grip mats, which are going to mark our space on the floor. And what I want to focus on is he got to do a fadeaway getting all the way back to the other mat that I've laid down. So he has something to hold himself accountable to distance. But the big thing is, is as he fades, I want his right foot, which is his outside foot, same side as he shoots on, I want it getting to the basket to help square everything up. And so what we're going to do is have him do it, and then we're going to introduce this box because it will give him something to actually kick. So often people can't do the original because their body doesn't have any holding it accountable. So when I introduce the box, he'll be able to feel like he can actually get that foot to it. And so as he fades back and he's actually getting to the shot, we want to be able to get his toe directly to that box. So now everything's squared up. He's landing on that left leg. And now he just simply can drift back out of that. So that's going to help develop his fadeaway just by holding himself accountable to space on the floor. And finally, we're wrapping up Scotty's workout by shooting shots off the box, really testing his form. And so by having him sit, now not only is he farther from the basket in terms of distance, but now he doesn't have any power. So he's got to be able to figure out how to get it through his core and through his actual release to shoot. And so if he feels anything that's off, anything that's broken in his shooting form, he's going to feel it that much easier when he's sitting on this box because he won't be able to get the ball there the same. Nice shot. What do you think? I'm ready to make the team? Or? Yeah, man. I think you're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Well, there you have it. Michael Lancaster is the top guy in the NBA right now. If you want to get to the show, or want to go to college, you want to go anywhere, here's the guy for you. Thank you for having us. It is a yeah. tremendous facility. And it's the I Am Possible Skill Lab. And seriously, if you want to get your game better, this is the top guy going in the NBA right now. Um, look at me. i got to try out next week with the Knicks. And uh, all because of you. I'm going to make a couple more calls for you. Okay, yeah, thanks. <laughs>